also being felt in San Francisco, where she left a lasting mark. Many tributes are being offered tonight, including from another Bay Area trailblazer. Our Dana Katsuyama joins us now live after talking with retired California Senator Barbara Boxer. Jana. Well, Barbara Boxer and Dianne Feinstein were both elected to the Senate in 1992. Feinstein was sworn in two months early to replace Pete Wilson's seat when he became governor. Senator Boxer retired after serving 24 years with Feinstein, and tonight she shared many stories and memories with me about Feinstein embracing her. Even though at times, Boxer said, she was much more progressive than Feinstein and they differed on some policies, she said Feinstein was always supportive and generous as they entered the male-dominated Senate. It. There was so much prejudice, it's hard to imagine, but uh, people would say, well, I could vote for one woman, but I can't vote for two, and I certainly can't vote for two women from the Bay Area, and oh, by the way, I certainly can't vote for two Jewish women. I mean, we faced so much prejudice. We handled it with a sense of humor. As you saw, she said, 2% may be good for the fat content of milk. But it's not good for the Senate. Senator Feinstein was there for me every every inch of the way, and she um, she broke every ceiling you can imagine. You know, at, because she showed that women could be tough and strong even after tragedy, could pull the country together, her city together, and that opened the door for for all of us. I think. Boxer told me she spoke with Senator Feinstein about three weeks ago, and Feinstein wanted to stay in office because she knew Republicans would not replace her on the important Judiciary Committee. Boxer says she hopes that members of Congress now will take up Senator Feinstein's work trying to renew her now-expired assault weapons ban and pass a new assault weapons ban in Feinstein's name. Heather. Jana Katsuyama tonight, uh, colleagues and, and good friends, Barbara Boxer and Dianne Feinstein.